Hello, I'm Dave Caldwell with your SCB News Break for Monday, November 11th. Men and women who have served in the United States military along with their families were honored at a special Veterans Day ceremony in Newhall Monday. The annual ceremony at Veterans Historical Plaza included a reading by Dale Turner as a sign of respect for those who are missing in action, along with patriotic performances by the Men of Harmony, the Four of Hearts, and local singer Bob Zacker. Local speakers included city council members, veteran Bill Reynolds, Pastor John Shaver, and Marine Corps veteran Dick Jeffrey, who served as the master of ceremonies. November 11, 1918, at 11 in the morning. 11, 11, 11. Brings a close to the fighting of the First World War. A war that cost 120,000 American lives and another 200,000 wounded. All wars are beyond terrible. There are no good wars, but there are necessary wars. Log on to SCVTV.com Tuesday to see the entire ceremony. Two front row chairs sat empty at Monday's Veterans Day ceremony in memory of two World War II veterans who were fixtures at the annual event. 96-year-old World War II veteran Anthony Guy Tony Marincola died Friday. The Purple Heart recipient served as a glider trooper with the 17th Airborne Division after volunteering for the Army in April of 1943. He was missed at Monday's Veterans Day ceremony. Services for Marincola are being handled by Eternal Valley Mortuary in Newhall. An empty chair reserved in his honor sat next to another empty chair reserved in memory of another local World War II veteran, Thomas Johnson, who passed away in June. Coming up after the break, Construction begins on an enriched, affordable housing neighborhood for local veterans and their families. That and more next. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling. My relationships were affected by my addiction in ways that are almost hard to describe. I lost, I lost that trust and that, that sense of intimacy that you have with your family. Everyone says that, oh, it's just a plant, like you can't get addicted to it, but like really, it is addictive. If you're doing it all day, like every day, it's just like, that's all your life consists of is smoking weed, like then it's addictive. I think your son is, you'll never know, because it, it is hard to hide, but if you try hard enough, you can conceal it. There's no face to addiction, like your next door neighbor could be an addict and you have no idea. The people we deal with are great people. They're just making bad choices. So if we can help people make better choices, everybody wins. And I love you forever. A young Santa Clarita couple was killed in a Friday night crash on Highway 14 north of Lancaster. 19-year-old Nicole Hoffman and 25-year-old Robert Corona were on their way to California City when the fatal crash happened near Highway 58. According to Hoffman's sister, the two worked together at the In-N-Out Burger on Bouquet Canyon Road and had been dating for about eight months. Friends and family are fundraising to help out with the cost of memorial services, and anyone who is interested in helping out can reach, can contact Nicole's sister, Brittany Reff, at 661-877-877. 0102. A vigil is planned for 7 p.m. on Tuesday night at Central Park. Times for both services have not yet been announced. Habitat for Heroes broke ground on a veterans housing project Saturday in Santa Clarita. 87 homes for heroes available to low-income veterans and their families are being constructed in Veteran Village located on Center Point Parkway. The community is a joint project between the Santa Clarita, San Fernando Valley branch of Habitat for Humanity and the California Department of Veterans Affairs. Saturday's ceremony included an announcement of streets to be named for volunteers and partners who spearheaded the project. Those being honored include KHTS AM 1220 owners Carl Goldman and Jerry Cerati Goldman and World War II Army Air Corps veteran Harry Bell, who died in 2012. Also on Saturday, city leaders kicked off the holiday season during the inaugural Light Up Main Street block party in Newhall, which featured a new community tree lighting in front of the library. Main Street in Old Town Newhall has been transformed into a winter wonderland as thousands of lights, a lighted sleigh with Santa, and reindeer adorn downtown. 
Attendees at Saturday's block party also enjoyed visits with Santa, seasonal refreshments, and holiday music. For years, the holiday season in the Santa Clarita Valley was ushered in by the annual community tree lighting on the grounds of Henry Mayo Newhall Memorial Hospital. That tradition was put on hold this year due to construction at the hospital. Turning to sports, where it's all about the final week of the Foothill League football season. In the game you saw right here on SCV TV and SCVTV.com, the West Ranch Wildcats took on the Saga Centurions with the winner getting to advance to the playoffs. The Wildcats struck first when junior quarterback Chase Killingsworth hit Joey Lau on the post from 45 yards out. It was Lau's only catch of the game. Saugus would respond less than a minute later when quarterback Chris Hamilton spun his way into the end zone for the eight-yard score. Hamilton had 291 yards of total offense in the game. In the third quarter, Centurion's running back Reed Roop takes the handoff, races to the outside, and goes 66 yards for the score. Roop finished with 148 yards on the ground and four touchdowns in the game. The Centurions go on to dominate the Wildcats and take fourth in league and earn a spot in the playoffs. Now it's on to those playoffs where Valencia and Canyon will each host a first round game. The Vikings are seated number two in the division behind defending champion Palos Verdes and they will host Redondo Union with Canyon hosting the third place team from the Bay League, West Torrance. Hart's loss means they must travel to Paso Robles to play the Pac-7 League second place team and Saugus will also be traveling up north to take on the Pac-7 champion, Greyhounds. All games start at 7 o'clock. For more high school and college sports, tune into Inside Sports tonight at 9 o'clock here on SCV TV. Now for your weather, 86 degrees for the high in Santa Clarita this Veterans Day. Tonight, expected to be partly cloudy with lows in the mid-50s. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow and Wednesday with highs in the mid to upper 80s. We'll start to see temperatures cool down a few degrees as we move into the latter half of the work week with breezy conditions blowing into town on Friday. Well, that's all for tonight. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm Dave Caldwell. SCV Newsbreak is brought to you by Action Family Counseling.